I'm Ali, and welcome to Sunday Spotlight, where we feature the works of emerging artists in the Web3 space with fewer than 2,000 followers on Twitter. For today's video, we're going to be doing a gallery walkthrough of three artists that specialize in digital art and illustration. Each artist has his and her own unique style, and I'm really excited to share them with you. But before we get to that, um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe um, if you enjoy Sunday Spotlight content and want to see more of it. First up is illustrator Michael Roos, also known as Michael. Michael's work is recognizable by his detailed line work, especially when it comes to creating dynamic soft textures like hair, feathers, and fur, as well as classical elements like wind and fire. The result of his technique is artwork that often feels dynamic and free-spirited. Some of his latest work packs of retro nostalgia, urbanism, organic life, and futurism all together. Michael is also a co-artist for Not Your Bros NFT collection called Not Your Demons, an art movement focused on mental health. You can see his signature line work in these examples with the tentacles, hair, and black grow. Next up is Midnight Tea, based out of Ukraine. Midnight Tea's Guards of the City collection features digital illustration as well as pieces done with colored pencils and paint. Her digital pieces feel dark and brooding while her hand-drawn pieces feel optimistic with hope. Midnight Tea also writes prose for each art piece. For Brave, she says, it represents courage that one must have to stand up against their enemy. It's about the struggle and sacrifices that one makes and that the fight is worth the sacrifice. You can feel her pieces are deeply personal and that the home her guards fight for is worth it. Finally, we have Anya Komi, an illustrator and comic artist. Her intentional use of bright colors and rough brush textures make many of her bright-eyed characters feel youthful and charming, and others more mysterious and somber. She also does animation, and her pieces that represent seasons also stand out. The Kiss of Spring, The Lady Taste of Summer, The Lady of Plaids and Coco, and The Darkest Night of Winter Before Christmas. It does make me wonder if any of these pieces are foreshadowing for her webtoon comic, The Seasons. I suppose we'll all need to tune in to find out. And that wraps today's Sunday Spotlight. If you enjoyed the artists and the work that you saw in today's video, you can find links to their socials and artwork in the description below. Give them a follow, maybe check out more of their artwork. If you enjoyed this video, you can always support me for free by liking, commenting, or subscribing to this channel. As always, thanks for tuning in.